I have a question for you. If your dad has a penny and a nickel, and if your mom has a, a dime and a quarter, um, and each of your parents is going to give you one coin, what is the possibility of money that you can get? So your dad can give you either a penny or a nickel. And your mom can give you either a dime or a quarter. So if you make a table like this, you can find out the possible combination of the coins, right? And that's what Punnett square is. So we can use the same technique that I just showed you to find out what kind of combination of alleles you get from two parents. I will give you an example. So let's pick a trait, um, let's say eye colors, okay? And your father has the gene for his eye colors and he has two alleles, right? Let's say he has a brown eye allele, which is dominant. So let's say a capital B. And he has a, a blue eye allele, which is recessive, let's say a lowercase b. Okay, so he has capital B and lowercase b. That's his two alleles for that gene. And let's just make it easy. Uh, your mom has the same alleles for that gene. So your mom also has a capital B and lowercase b alleles for the eye color gene. So the question is, what combinations can you make with these alleles, right? And it's exactly the same as the coin example that we went over in the beginning of this video. Because your father can contribute one of the alleles for the gene. So your father can contribute either capital B or lowercase b. And your mom can contribute either capital B or lowercase b in her egg. So through fertilization, the possible combinations that you can make with these two parents are capital B, capital B, or capital B, lowercase b, or lowercase b, lowercase b. So you have three different genotypes that you can make from these two parents. And but if you look at the trait that come out as a result of this cross, you have brown eyes and blue eyes. So you have two phenotypes that you can make with these two parents.